So I just got back from a three-week trip through England and Luxembourg. I've been working at BuzzFeed for two years and I knew I needed a vacation, but I never took one. Uh, but I decided, you know what, if I don't do it this August, I'm probably never gonna do it. So what happened? Recap. So my flight was 13, 14 hours long. It was too long. Thank God there was movies on the plane and thank God um, I was able to sleep as much as I could because when I arrived, I went straight to the BuzzFeed office to work a full day. <laughs> but man, was I tired. I was like literally like, oh, 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 you know. So I just went back to Evelyn's place to take a nap. Evelyn and Noel were incredible hosts. I cannot thank them enough for letting me stay with them. The first night we went to Pop Brixton, which is where like all the cool people of Brixton go, where all the hipsters go to shop and eat. Um, and that was really exciting. And then we went to like, a really cool Spanish restaurant that was under a church. Really atmospheric, very like, kind of like 17th, 18th century. It was very like mysterious. I loved it and the food was really good. We know where the lamb is. Lamb yeah. 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 It's gonna be such a good meal. So the big day I was really excited for was Friday morning. Regan has lived in England his whole life. He's from a small little town called Crawley, which I saw later on in the trip. But for Friday, he was up with me in London and he showed me some incredible spots. It was just really cool to be in London, a place that I've wanted to go to for years since I was a little kid, and it was um, a dream come true. <laughs> so my first day alone down in Crawley, what I did was I went to experience the town. I went to the main center in Crawley. I saw all these beautiful sights in these buildings that have been here for centuries. What I was seeing was older than America itself, and that was wonderful. Like every street I would walk down was like a picturesque painting, and I just couldn't wait to take a bunch of photos. I went to a pub where I got some traditional bangers and mash, and got to see a park and I wish Regan could spend time with me, but I was an idiot and came when he was working all week long, so I kind of was just on my own to explore. Morning. It's day two here in Crawley, and I'm out here in this beautiful little garden behind the Airbnb that I'm renting. It's owned by a woman named Claire and her father, Mick. They're actually leaving for a trip, so they put me in charge of like keeping the house in order, which is really interesting and so I'm out here now and I'm about to feed mixed fish in the little like koi pond over here everything is just really quiet and peaceful I'm not used to that but it does feel really good just to waste the day in the best way possible so thank you Mick thank you Claire staying here has been incredible My next travel day, I went down to Brighton, which is like on the beach of southern England, and wow, was that town cool.
I see it clearer, but my breath fogged up the glass. So I hit you in the face and I lied. I guess what I be saying is there ain't no better reason to read yourself of vanities and just go with the seasons. It's what we aim to do. Our name is our virtue. My third big trip around southern England, I went to Horsham, which is a little town pretty close to Crawley, and um, it was beautiful, and I went to like, some museums and was able to look around. But what I was really excited for is apparently they have a Michelin restaurant there. It was called Restaurant Tristan, and I was absolutely blown away by the food, the service, the atmosphere of the place and sitting there eating my four course meal I just wanted to soak it all in because I really wanted to apply some of the things I was seeing into the restaurants I want to have one day. I'm going to put all the photos up for you now. Snap, 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 snap. I mean look how beautiful this food is. Okay, I'm leaving my tiny little Airbnb. It was so lovely to see how the real people of England lived, and now I'm back to busy old London. So after kind of experiencing small southern English towns myself, I went back up to stay with Evelyn and Noel, and we cooked at Evelyn's house. We made some short rib ragu and homemade pasta. It was a blast. I got to teach them a few new skills in the kitchen, and we sat and enjoyed it while playing board games and video games. It was a great night. And that ragu was incredible. Uh, here's a photo. And then the next day, Evelyn took me out to get some street food at the Brick Lane Food Hall, and wow, was this place incredible. There was like food from all over the world. I mean, there was food from India, from China. There was Latin foods from Mexico and stuff from Spain. There was food from Norway, Sweden, Israeli food. We got to try some Tibetan food, some Burmese food. Basically any country you can think of, there was food from it there. And our eyes were bigger than our stomachs. We wanted to try everything, but of course that would have cost so much money, so we kind of just sampled here and there. But overall, it was a feast for the eyes. Uh, that was the rest of our day in London. This is my uh, favorite house guest ever. Master Dawson, everybody. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was incredible. England was amazing. It was a great first trip. It was a great break from work. I can't wait to go back and explore even more. Okay. Bye. <laughs>